Hey guys, welcome back to Jibber Jab Reviews and the day after that really great unpacked event by Samsung in San Francisco and wow, was there ever a lot of goodies unveiled there. Now over the next couple of episodes, I'm going to give you a recap of the items that were released, their features, pricing, and of course my opinion on the devices, and I'll also let you know what I've already pre-ordered just to give you a heads up of what I'm going to be reviewing in the near future. Okay guys, let's start with the Galaxy Watch Active because we've been hearing about this a lot lately, especially with the leaks about its design and the notorious missing bezel. And surprisingly enough, the actual watch was very close to all those rendered photos that we've been seeing. And yes, of course, there is no rotating bezel. Now, if you want to stop hearing more about the specs and features of the watch right now, then I totally understand because I'd wager that the vast majority of current Samsung smartwatch owners love the rotating bezel and for Samsung to create a new watch without one, well that's just plain blasphemy. However, I will give you my take on why you may still want to consider purchasing it even without a mechanical bezel. Okay, so here are a few reasons why you may want to consider purchasing it. First of all, I would say the design. Now I know this is a subjective reason because many people may actually dislike the look, but to be honest, I don't think it looks bad at all. It's definitely more sleeker looking than any of the other Samsung smartwatches, and it has more of a modern look to it too. There aren't any sharp edges on it, and without the bezel, it has a nice clean and smooth surface. So in many ways, you can see design cues here from the Apple Watch, which already has a very good market presence, and it's Samsung's main competitor for tech gadgets in general. So offering a different design may not necessarily be a bad thing here, especially if Samsung is trying to appeal to non-Samsung customers, and I would even say the female population, because this is a smaller size watch at 40 millimeters. And unfortunately, this one is not going to come in any other sizes except that 40 millimeter, but it will come in a variety of different colors, including a black, a silver, a rose gold, and even a blue version. The other piece related to the design is that it's very lightweight. It actually clocks in at only 25 grams. Compare that to the Galaxy Watch 46 millimeter, which sits at 63 grams, and the smaller 42 millimeter version of the Galaxy Watch also weighs in at 49 grams. So this new active watch is about 50% lighter than any of the other models, which makes it the perfect companion for the segment that it's meant to attract. And of course, that's the fitness lovers out there. And by fitness lovers, I also mean swimmers because this watch comes with the same impressive water resistance rating as the Galaxy Watch and the Gear Sport. Another reason why you may want to consider this watch is of course related to the software and all the activity improvements that you get here. So for example, the S Health area has expanded to include new stress management and breathing features, fitness activities to include 21 indoor exercises, plus 39 tracked workouts, and it's now capable of ECG and blood pressure monitoring, although there's been no specific information released yet as to how that's actually going to be measured. And all these new features can be accessed through the new user interface, which includes Bixby Voice and of course Samsung's Voice Assistant. And all this is included in the newest version of the Tizen operating system, which means the active watch will be compatible with all Android phones that are running Android 5.0 and later, and it will also work on any iPhones running iOS 9. Another reason why you might want to consider grabbing this one is the price. It's already available for pre-order in the US and Canada and at a very competitive price. Now, although you may argue that the lack of certain features and size means it's priced right where it should be, however, if you are looking for a smartwatch that's fitness oriented, small and lightweight, then this is a great buy as it's at least $100 cheaper than any of the other Galaxy Watch models. Okay, so that's a summary of all the good stuff. So what are a couple of my concerns? Well, I've already mentioned this a couple times, but the lack of a bezel for navigation purposes probably will turn many people away. I haven't had a chance to test the user interface on the new active watch, so I can't say how easy it is to use without a bezel. So this may or may not be an issue, but from a style perspective, I think many people at least like the look of a bezel. 
Another thing to keep in mind is the battery size. This one is almost half the size of the battery in the larger Galaxy Watch model, so I would expect that you will need to charge the new active watch every single day. The compromise here of course is the sleeker design and the lightweight of the case, so it may not be a major issue for you if for example you're going to wear this only for fitness purposes, but even charging once a day, it's not really a big deal especially if you get the S10, which allows you to wirelessly charge your watch just by placing it on top of the phone. And lastly, in terms of hardware, keep in mind that the active watch comes with the same features as the Galaxy watch, which also unfortunately means you're going to be stuck with only 4GB of internal storage. So what do you guys think of this new watch? Is this something that you can see yourself purchasing or even upgrading if you already have another Samsung smartwatch? I did want to let you guys know that I did pre-order this one. It's going to be a surprise gift for my wife after, of course, I review it for all of you guys. And I'm not afraid of her finding out about it either because she never watches my reviews anyways, but I am excited to try it out. And like I said, I think the design and the weight is definitely going to appeal to a lot of females out there. So I think my wife is going to like this one because she already took my gear sport away from me anyways. Okay guys, that's just a quick recap of the specs and the features of the Galaxy Watch Active. I'll be releasing more videos on some of the other devices really soon. Thanks again for watching, enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Until then, take care. Thanks again for watching our review, and if you liked it, then show us some love with a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and share the video with your friends, because with your support, it really helps me keep the channel going, so I can continue to offer you guys discounts, giveaways, and of course, fresh content. I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, take care.